indicates lead to conversions. Nor, not even once baptized, could a Jew easily become a Christian in the eyes of the majority of Christian society. In addition, a repentant Jewish apostate could not easily revert to being perceived by the Jewish community as a full-fledged Jew. Far from illustrating any consequences of acculturation or the porousness of boundaries between Jewish and Christian communities and identities in Christian Spain prior to 1391, the lives of converts instead showcase some of the challenges that confronted medieval Jews and lay bare the limits of cultural fluidity. These observations about Spanish Jewish conversion prior to 1391 can help to reorient discussions about the impact of 1391. Harkening back to the first historiographic narrative that I mentioned at the start of this paper, what we've seen here suggests that although the sheer number of converts in the aftermath of 1391 created unprecedented conditions, important continuities in converts' experiences and in Jewish and Christian attitudes toward converts bridged the periods before and after 1391 in Spain. During the century following 1391, the church continued to encourage Jewish conversions, and some Jews continued to take great risks to re Judaize apostates. Yet most Christians and Jews remained deeply ambivalent about converts, and converts as a group of part were increasingly persecuted, leading to the establishment of the Spanish Inquisition. Moreover, the behaviors and patterns of thought regarding Jewish conversion that I have outlined this afternoon were by no means unique to Spain. Indeed, the significance of these observations grows in light of recent work on medieval Jewish conversion in Northern Europe. According to the second historiographic narrative that I mentioned, conversion, forced and especially voluntary, was extremely rare among the pure and pious Jews of Northern Europe. Available numbers from the, fifth, from the 13th century, however, haphazard though they are, suffice to undermine this view. Between 1240 and 1260, for example, the names of over 200 Jewish converts appear in records of the English crown. Between 1253 and 1256, King Louis IX of France provided 148 converts with a daily pension. And between 1296 and 1300, 44 Jewish converts appear on ro in rolls of the tithe tax from Paris. Beyond Ashkenaz in Italy, we, we know that over 1,000 Jews converted at the end of the 13th century. Although incomplete, these 13th century numbers are striking, especially in light of the small size of northern Jewish communities. If some inherent characteristic of Spanish Jews had been responsible for the huge number of Spanish Jewish conversions in 1391, one would expect to observe a greater number of conversions in Spain than in Ashkenaz during the centuries leading up to 1391. No such pattern, however, is even remotely apparent. Further challenging claims of a stark contrast between the Jews of Spain and Northern Europe, available documentation indicates that the broad contours of the experiences of Jewish converts in Ashkenaz and Sfarad were very similar, revealing the existence of the same Christian ideological framework as well as similar realities of everyday life. In Ashkenaz, as in Christian Spain, Christians were eager to baptize Jews, and Jews tried to prevent apostasy. Jews approached conversion most often as a means of escaping Christian punishments and the consequences of Jewish excommunication, bankruptcy, and marital dilemmas. A handful of converts rose in the ranks of Christian society, but most fared very poorly, becoming itinerant beggars. Some took advantage of the adversarial aspects of Jewish-Christian relations to try to gain Christian trust, occasionally gaining recognition as anti-Jewish polemicists, such as Nicholas Donin and Guillaume de Bourges, for example. Most converts, however, were ultimately the victims of the same Jewish-Christian animosity that contributed to Christian conversionary enthusiasm. Ostracized by their brethren in Christ, who saw them, and in some cases even their descendants, still as Jews, and resented by their former co-religionists, who viewed them as the worst of traitors, even as some Ashkenazi Jewish leaders, like their Spanish counterparts, took great risks to bring apostates back to Judaism, Jewish converts in Northern Europe, as in Christian Spain, experienced firsthand just how great a gulf could separate Christians and Jews. Studying what it took to get medieval men and women to try to traverse these boundaries between Jewish and Christian communities and identities, and what happened to them after they emerged from the baptismal font or Jewish ritual bath, allows us to zero in then, not only on some of the challenges faced by Jews across medieval Europe and on similarities 
and the conversion histories of two frequently contrasted realms, but also on broad continuities in the socio-religious contexts that gave rise and responded to these conversions. In particular, we observe how in subversion of both of the narratives that I mentioned at the start of this paper, fundamental features of Jewish-Christian relations were similar across the Pyrenees. In Northern Europe, as in Spain, voluntary Jewish conversions were highly personal affairs with little relation to Jewish-Christian social intimacy or theological rivalry. In both realms, too, in spite of the efforts of Jewish and Christian authorities, Jews who were baptized and repentant apostates who sought to return to Judaism <coughs> most often found that neither Christians nor Jews saw in them the new self that they sought to embody. Instead, Christian and Jewish societies persisted in focusing on the identity that converts had sought to shed, an identity that each community regarded in spite of often cordial interpersonal relations between Christians and Jews with deepest suspicion. From this perspective, and I come to a close with this paragraph, the Jews of 13th and 14th century Spain no longer seem like such a distinct unit, or at the very least, we see that much is obscured when we treat them as such. Although the Jews of Spain were uniquely marked by a history of Muslim rule and by the conditions of the Christian reconquest, the study of medieval Jewish conversion compels us to note that in Christian Spain, prior to 1391, Jews faced many of the same fears, pressures, and opportunities as their northern brethren. Indeed, the study of conversion reminds us of these connections, not only when we compare the experiences of converts in Ashkenaz and Sfarad, but also when we trace the wanderings of the many converts who became beggars. On foot and at the mercy of the elements, these men and women trekked between Portugal, Castile, Aragon, Catalonia, Provence, Germany, northern France, and England, bridging distant realms. As scholars, we would do well to follow their lead. Thank you.